Hello everyone, this is Kushagr. Welcome to our YouTube channel DevTown. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So we'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So in the previous video students, we have talked about HTML entities. So what is HTML entities and what is the main purpose of HTML entities? What is non-breaking points or sorry, non-breaking space and how to add a pound symbol or how to add a symbol which are not there into your keyboard. So we have talked about that in the detail in the previous video. So if you have not watched my previous video, do watch that. I would be pasting the link in the description as well. So students in the today's video, we will be talking about HTML semantic tag. So let me just quickly create one HTML file and just tell you what is the semantic tag. So let me just quickly generate the boilerplate code and let me just stop this server. Let me just stop the server and let me just change the title to html semantic tags and let me just also add one h2 tag with the semantic tags so let me just click on this go live and start a server as you can see the server is started and i'm getting a heading of semantic tag so what does this basically this word semantic means so whenever you add a meaning to a particular word, then the adding the property of adding a meaning to that word is known as semantic. So in HTML, so you would be thinking like, what is the purpose of like semantic in this HTML now? Like why this word semantic came into the HTML? So what happens students like there are some tags which don't have a proper meaning. Like if you want your uh, say your code should be understand by a proper properly by your browser and say your code should be properly translated or code should be properly compiled by the browser and say if you want that your seo should be increased and your seo should be proper and if a particular person search for your website or a particular keyword and your website should be displayed so you should have a good seo and your browser should understand like yeah this for this particular keyword this website should be so shown so earlier we used to use div and say span for all kinds of a section and the browser was not able to understand like what for what purpose or what kind of a thing this div is there so what happened later on in the html5 the semantic tags were introduced which was having a proper meaning to that so let me just quickly tell you let me just shift towards my this and let me just tell you so as you can see let me just select this and as you can see consider that this is your website this is your footer this is your nav bar this is your say site this is your say sidebar and this is your main section say this is the website so for this particular thing like for all the things say let's say for this purpose also we were using div and for this purpose also we were using div and for this purpose also we were using div and for sidebar also we were using div so our browser was not able to distinguish for what purpose the div is there so like this div doesn't tell this div doesn't tells us like this div is for navbar so our browser was not able to understand like this div is for navbar and this div is for sidebar this div is for main section and this div is for footer so it was something like of a you can say jumbled and all the things were overlapping and browser was just displaying like yeah so later on what happens in 
HTML5 semantic tags were introduced and for all the things we started using the semantic tag. So let me just shift to the browser and show, show you how we design the, uh, our websites with the help of a semantic tag semantic elements yeah let me just quickly shift to the images and just check uh, yeah this is the proper image let me just show you let me just increase let me just check if there is any other proper image it's not loading yeah i think this would be fine yeah as you can see the image is now as you can see this is the header part and for header also we were using div and for nav we were using span and as you can see for all the things we were using div 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 so this is how the non-semantic websites were developed and this was developed previously and this is the semantic tags like how we use so for header we were using header and for nav we were using nav and for sidebars we were using a side tag and for footer we were using footer so this tells the browser like yeah this what all things we have written in the header should be displayed at the top and what all things are there in the footer tag should be displayed at the bottom so that's how like if you want your SEO should be good and you want that your website should have a good SEO. You have to use this uh, semantic tags. If you will use this kind of a thing, your SEO won't be proper and your website won't be having a good rank. So to develop this SEO based websites and to use semantic tags is must in today's time. So that's how we use this uh, semantic tags. And let me just show you the proper semantic elements as well take elements mozilla as you can see yeah let me just click on this website yeah let me just scroll down yeah as you can see this is the proper list of semantic elements in your html5 as you can see they are telling like if you want to add an article to your website you can use this tag and if you want to add certain details or captions you can use this fig caption and if you want to add a figure you can use this option if you want to add navbar you can use this if you want to add a section you can use this let me just show you like one this summary tag as well let me just copy it and let me just shift back to the vs code and let me just show you yeah let me just show you the output for this i think yeah let me just show you yeah as you can see if you want to add a detail and a summary to it it will work like this you can use you can you do this all things with the help of javascript as well later on i would be telling you how to do this but let's say i'm adding lorem say 40 to it oh sorry let me just remove this and say lorem 40 as you can see let me just say all z and say let me just shift back towards the browser as you can see this is the heading which is there and this is the summary which i am getting after clicking on this so this thing this drop down part is done with the help of a detail details tag as you can see this detail tag and if you want to add a summary say let me just remove this and add a summary say say it as kushagra works at dev town so as you can see this is the summary which i am getting like before opening this part so this is the work of the summary and whenever you click on this you get this detail wala part so this is done with this opening and closing wala part is done with the help of a detail and the short description about the content the main content is done with the help of this summary part so that's all about the semantic tags and now i want you all guys to explore the semantic parts and just check what for what all purpose this semantic tag is used i would be giving you the this uh, this link in the description as well this is a very good mozilla website you can check with this and it's a very important topic so do check all these things and yeah i have one quiz as well for you all guys i would be giving the link for this quiz as well so you have to answer all these questions 
like the title element must be located inside which tag and which tag is used to create a hyperlink and which of the following tag is used to create an ordered list and how can you open the link in a new window so i have prepared this quiz and you can submit your answers with the help of this link let me just shorten the link so you can just uh, copy or take a screenshot of this link and you can just give your answer with the help of this link and i would be pasting the link in the description as well so do check that and just answer your question and in the next video i would be giving the answer for this tab this all these questions so that's all for the day thank you students